Oh, let the sighing of the branches soothe me, and may all thoughts of chaos fade. Hurry, we are nearly there. Peace, Frick. It will do us no good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Sutur has our son, fair Balder, fallen to treachery. Does that mean anything to you? It does. Sutur will pay a heavy price for it. We do not serve our cause by reckless haste. The tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose. And I would know the web he weaves before I'm caught in it. So speaks one who never nursed our babe at the breast, nor held him as he slept. You were warming your wife's bed while I nurtured your son. You were only too keen to send him to my care, and Freyas, when the call of adventure became too great to resist. Now dampen your heart fire. Captive he may be, but there's nothing in the Nine Realms that can harm Balda. There is one thing. Pick up your heels. Baldur was too mighty to be captured by force. I sense Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to confess. That is why he waits in fetters for our return. Chained by my own hand, as I chained his son. As he has chained ours in turn. If he is truly conspiring with Suter, he will know my everlasting wrath. Will he, Harvey? Or will you forgive him once again, so he may wreak more misery upon us? You love your dear blood brother too well, when he has brought you nothing but pain. We have brought each other pain. Harvey, look! Burned. Their corpses left us food for the crows. A dark omen indeed. Come. There is no time to waste on the dead. We should have done more. We should have rallied the whole of Asgard when the Muspels invaded Svartalfheim. And you should never have let our son come here. He sought to prevent this war. Was that not a worthy goal? As for Asgard, the builder's treasury was still fresh. We needed to rebuild, honor our dead. There was little appetite for further conflict. I recall you said the same when Sutor invaded Alfheim. Now the elves are no more. And now you dredge up ancient history? You should have intervened, Lord of Asgard, then and now. Instead, Suta has grown too bold, and our son may be the cost of it. Do not say so, Freak. We will find him yet. What have they done? The city lies in ruins. This is worse than I thought. Put this land to flame and sword. Balder!
grave. Hmm. As I knew you must. It's been too long since you and I crossed blades. Then let's make this the final. Fated to die today. The smell of death lingers in my nostrils. That was no mere dream. I must seek Valka's wisdom. Mistletoe. The air hangs heavy around you, Eivor. You are troubled. I had another dream. A vision like the last. This one full of fire. Tell me. I saw the god, Balder, broken and beaten, held captive by his suitor. I, I tried to save him, but I was defeated and left to die in a pit of corpses. When I awoke, I found this in the fold of my clothing. Baldur also dreamt of his own death. This tale I know. Afterwards, his mother Freak visited everything, living or dead, and had them swear not to harm him. But she overlooked the mistletoe bush. 
And so fate had its way. Not all visions are premonitions, Eivor. But all hide wisdom, if we have the wit to see it. Drink this, if you would know more. Then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it, and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. from the fire. You must be coming. Well, Hubby's not well. A passing weakness. It's nothing. We should continue. Are you sure? We could rest a while. They kidnapped my son, murdered his mother. I will not rest till I repay these wrongs. Oh, forgive me. You lifted me from that fly-blown hell, set me on my feet again. You do not deserve my rage. And you do not belong among the dead. Not yet. Now come on, your gift awaits. You still have not told me the nature of this gift, nor why you offer it. Its nature you will know soon enough. As to why, will you have seen the suffering the Muskels brought to Svartok pain? Fire and ruin and slaughter. They made wasteland of our green meadows and enslave those they didn't kill. They keep your people as slaves. Aye. Sortor works them for some dark purpose of his own. What that is, we don't yet know. We can't fight them, Javi. Our people are broken, forced into hiding. But now the tides of fate have washed the Lord of Asgard to our shores. I'm not your savior. I mean only to find my son and return him. Rid us of Sortor, and you might save us nonetheless. That is why we offer you our gift. Look upon the splendor of our halls, Javi. A sight to stir a careworn heart. In all the nine worlds, the crafters of Svatalfin have no equal. for the gift. This dolt dares to steal a gift intended for me? Javi, you have to stop them. With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. Take it, Lord of Asgard. Put it on. 
from the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer, you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers, and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed. I feel it. Fire charges my blood. Aye, but you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving. It's the Asir! Sound the alarm! I heard the mewing of an Asir kitten. My husband should have stamped on you when he had the chance. But mercy is no flaw of mine. I will see red vengeance on all of you for what you have done. <laughs> and I will enjoy watching you fail. You should have paid in Asgard. Fight well. Better than your woman, at least. Come at me, then! Let's finish this! Oh, I'll be back. I will hunt you to the far corners of the Nine Worlds. Treasure every moment, Javi. For death is at your heels. And you know not the hour it will find you! Shinmara! Damn you to hell! Well, slap my bollocks and call me an elf. You found us, and with all those moose spells on our doorstep. You know about the moose spells? Wouldn't be much of a chief if I didn't. Hope you didn't wear yourself out coming out to warn us. Actually, we kind of did. And who's this you've got with you? I am Harvey, called Wolfsbane, Raven Guard. The High One of Asgard. That right. They call me Brood. Our scratcher, snot snorter, he of the crusty toe. Havi is here because we have an enemy in common. Surtr has taken his son captive. He fought Sinmara to a standstill. I saw it! Surtr, eh? Any enemy of that oversized stack of hearth sweepings is a friend of mine. Come inside. You two, get some rest. Wait, Javi. Before you go, I have another gift. We would not have made it here without you. Nor I without you, my friends. I'd say we're even. Take this all the same. It's silica. Bring it to a blacksmith, and they will put it to good use on your behalf. Thank you, Sigrun. And you, Halstein. May our paths cross again soon. Silica. We must have done something right. That stuff's rarer than hen's teeth these days. The moosebells. Aye. They seized the mines and now they guard them carefully. Bunch of overly flammable bastards. Still, if you ever need more, you're welcome to slaughter your way to one of their stockpiles. My son is in Sutra's clutches. I have no time for diversions. Might be you change your mind once you see it put to use. Let me show you our blacksmith. Salutations, Chief. Who's your friend here? They've got too many names to remember. All you need to know is... They've got silica. 
And the bracer of such craftsmanship as makes my hammer arm weak with him. That's a fine thing indeed. But maybe not so fine that it can't be enhanced somewhat. Any half-decent blacksmith should be able to help you improve it. Assuming you have the right materials, of course. Others here will be glad of a stranger's silver. Look around a while, if you like. You know my purpose. I have no time to tarry here. He asks for death who goes to battle unprepared. I'll see you at the entrance when you're ready. What do you want? How came you to this place? Did you flee here when the invasion began? Oh, I know. I was here already, studying when the refugees started coming in. What is there to study here? Calico, porphyry, serpentine, banded gneiss, breccia, obsidian, silica, gold! Oh, friend, there is beauty in the earth. Here in this secret place, we gathered all we knew of the thousand facets of Ymir, from whose body sprang all creation. I dreamed of learning fantastical techniques, of crafting armor with materials never before attempted. But that dream has died, I suppose, along with so many others. Such is fate. Until next time. You know, you ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurricane. Hurricane? No doubt she flees the wrath of Sutunga and Gunlotha. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some street talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hit our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look. We don't even know where the others are. The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is the Suter, and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Suter can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most, and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose spells on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Surtur. Take out their leader. They'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Svartilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. But I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Balda. Good enough for now. Welcome to Spartalfi, Javi. From here, run
How are you and these folk getting on, lady? Better now that I see there is an Asir among us. You'll free us from the clutches of that red witch, won't you? Who do you mean? Asa, daughter of Surt. She has taken our people. Please, All Father, you must help us. Enlist all of Asgard if need be. Please. What else can you tell me about this Asa? Only that so long as she is out there, we will remain down here. Help us. Speak to Bramnir. If he is still able to string a sentence together, that drunkard. We must be here. Join us in the from which we can Come. get our steps. Anything. Look around. There's got to be a tank that we can tongue a few drops out of. Don't let me interrupt you. Lord, am I pissed or does the Allfather stand before me? Uh, both? <laughs> this... this is good. The wise one will surely help solve our problem. Let us help one another. What exactly is the source of your grief here? Rhymes! Rhythm! Oh, we could use your poet's heart. My what? Your words! Your gusto! We, the greatest of the sons of Ivaldi, are in need of a fitting end to the song. Will our end? I am here to understand how you might help me strike back at Sutra. Strike back? Nonsense! Besides, it is not only he we must contend with, but his kin, his daughter Asa, stirs up our, snatches up our people, works them to death. An unwinnable war? All that's left to do is eat, drink, shag, and seal our legacies. Exactly! But as is clear as day, we have drunk ourselves to hell, and no rhyme sticks the way it should. So, it must be you who completes the song of our saga, mine and Lom's. I will hammer the end of your saga, the strength of Mjolnir. Yes! What spirit! We are to be remembered and revered by all. Yes! With Havi among us, we must adjust the final verse. Listen closely. <clears throat> to the depths of Svartalheim, great Havi came, met with dwarves he knew not by name. Led by their wallowing, their pitiful groans, I could see they had peckers, but found no stones. And uh, not quite what I was thinking. Let's try. You call yourselves the sons of Ivaldi. Why? To shit on his name? Brammer, I don't think he means to lend his words to our song. Go away, Lom. Your words carve a deep wound, but they are true enough. Each day we see our numbers dwindle. Trends go out, but do not return. The choice to forget is alluring. Sutra has stolen my son, and I do not have the luxury of forgetting. You said Sutra has a daughter. Yes. Clever, cunning. Commands an elite swath of warriors. She oversees Surtur's operations here. Where may I find her? There is a smeltery up the road. The dwarves there may know. I'll go there, see what your people know. Luck, I can trap Asa, trade her life for my sons. Thank you, Bramir. I'll tend to your people as a true son of Yvaldi should. I need you. I will. A place from which we can pick our steps. Stink. Smells worse than even these forge back in Asgard. Let's see what these dwarves can tell me about Aether. I owe you my life. Those muspers were prepared to let me bake to death. You are in no debt to me, 
Though, as it turns out, I have need of your help. Me? What can I help you with? Putting a stop to this invasion. I am listening? I know Asa oversees your work. And I need to find her. What do you know of her whereabouts? Nothing more than which way I saw her leave. It was east. Though, interestingly, she took a bunch of my people with her. Diggers. Maybe she is scouring another site? That is helpful. Farewell, and keep safe. Ah, this is very, very bad. bad. Last. Oh, relief. No, no, no. What is... What? Oh. You and I should talk. Hi, one. <laughs> is that really you? What are you doing here? I've come looking for Sutra's daughter. The one they call Asa. I hear she frequents this place. She makes her rounds. Comes to see that we are working as best we can. What is all this work for? Who knows? She brings us the ores, we extract the metals. They go to Sutra for whatever it is he so desires. And what is she like, this Asa? Mm, get on her bad side and she'll bark her threats. But so long as you keep on the straight and narrow, she is uh, tolerable. Ensures you are well fed and healed of your wounds. Sets the bar high for a Muslim. Where might I find her now? I do not know. But you can try your luck around the kill. <coughs> Asa appears soft of heart for a Muslim. Are you all right? Move away! I need to fix this, or I'll lose the whole batch along with my head. <coughs> this is bad. This is very, very bad. I'm looking for the one they call Asa. Does the name mean anything to you? It means I should not be talking to you, nor should any of the others. Now go before you land us both in hot water. If I could just free that damn trap! Are you all right? Move away! I need to fix this, or I'll lose the whole batch along with my head! <coughs> How can I loosen it? As good as new. You have done me a great service. I could kiss you. I'd prefer you use your lips to tell me where I may find Asa. Asa? What business does an Asir have with a Muspel princess? I have a quarrel with Sutur. His daughter will help me rectify it. And how do you plan on that? Asa may come off as a young cub, but she does have a dark side. As do I. Can you tell me where to find her or not? Not exactly. The resources we receive come from a Milna, but I haven't got a clue which. Our blacksmith, Glamnik. Asa took some of his workers with her. He may know more, but have caution. Last I heard, the guards are making an example out of him. You toil as if tomorrow will never come. Is this the pace Asa demands? It keeps her pesky rodents off my back. Keeps me fed. Well, barely. At this rate, I could eat a troll. I imagine the hunger pangs hit quite frequently here. May I offer you something to eat? It would surely help keep this toiler going. I have something that will sate your belly and hopefully rouse your spirits. How can I repay such a kindness? Asa is a common enemy of ours, and I'm looking for her. Common enemy is right. If I had it my way, I would bash her pretty face into scalding goo. Sadly, she has not returned for me to try my hand. And I do not know where she has gone. Is there anything you can tell me? Hmm. I get the growing sense you mean to confront her. Forcefully. Then do have caution. Asa can use magma to treat her wounds. Quite quickly, I might add. She always has a silky, fresh layer on her skin. I'll have to remember that. If you see Asa, you will give her my friendly regards, won't you? I'm looking for the one they call Asa. 
Does the name mean anything to you? It means I should not be talking to you, nor should any of the others. Now go before you land us both in hot water. Hot magma, more like. I would have a word with you. And Asir? You... you should not be here. I'll only take a moment. Please go. I do not want trouble with the guards. They allow me to speak only when reporting to them, and them alone. I should disguise myself as a misspell. Do not react, as I, the Asir. But what? That is quite the disguise. If Loki is giving lessons, tell him we could use his expertise. I have him locked away in a dungeon cell for roughly the next thousand years. Ah. Uh, so then, what brings you? You have not come to lend your hand in the muck. I'm looking for Asa. Can you help me with that? Zutor's daughter. Haven't seen her for some time now. She's got her minions keeping a watchful eye on us, though. What I can say is that wherever she goes, she makes it a point to forge large magma pools. Seen her do it here. Walks around in them. I hear she can even move through them. Something to look forward to. Crafty she is. If you see any liquid fire pits, it may be proof she is nearby. I will keep an eye out. Some other task has stolen Asa's attention as of late. If she's distracted, I will make capturing her all the more simple. Spell princess could ever want. What is this? Are you lost, Vesir? That depends. I'm looking for someone. I was told I might find her here. Maybe you know her. Muspel, around your age. Goes by Aza. Father's a... Uh, how shall I put this? A vain, glorious fool who thinks himself a god. Never heard of her. Then you will not mind if I stay a while. Dip my toes in one of these soothing fire baths. I have a better idea. Oh. Turn around. Go back from where you came. And please, do mind your step. That is no way to welcome a curious outsider. Care to put that away? Why? Afraid I know how to use it? I'm sure you can use it. Passably well. But then I would have to kill you. Don't worry. You won't. Let's keep the baubles out of it, shall we? Oh no! The godly gloating! Smite me, I cannot bear it! If I were you, I would save the tongue wit for a more appropriate time. I saw no such trinket on Sutra. Yet he too has a problem with dying. So that was you and Adri. What squabble had you trading blows with my father? He has taken my son. And now I will give your father a taste of what he has wrought. Move, so that I may trade his child for mine. <laughs> you clearly do not know my father. Your son, Baldr, I assume. He has something my father needs. And if that is so, Papa would sooner see me dead than give in to your demands. If you want your son back, you will need something far more precious than me to barter with. Me, his own daughter? I simply will not do. Then there's no longer any need for you to draw breath. Asa! We found it! We found... Oh! Found what?
What have you found? Uh, Asa would not want me to say. Asa is no longer here. I am Javi of Asgard, Lord of Frenzy. And you are in full control of my temper. I'm, 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 I'm a mural. Asa believes it may help her gain entry to an ancient vault. It is in a cavern that way. So long as Suter lives, my son will be his prisoner. How does one kill that which cannot be killed? If death is not his weakness, then I must find something that is. The mural lace I was searching for should be somewhere in this cavern. Is there something interesting here? Which may allude to peaks or mountains. You! Can you read this to me? Me? Uh, I, uh, uh, I, I can try. Elven runes are not something I can decipher with ease. You will fare better than I, and that will have to do. Any mention of an ancient vault, a door, secret entrance, maybe? Uh, no, uh, but uh, I can make out this. See? Two great mountains to the north, the sun and moon above. That's it? Regrets, Asir. We are simple diggers, not experts of things writ long ago. Not to worry. You've been a great help. A being that a group of Muspels here, Zikran and Holstein, were likely prisoners among them. Injured, but very much alive. The dwarves were taken to the center of this chamber, where it appears that some sort of ritual was prepared. The orchestrator came to the ancient elven object built into the wall. Possibly even used it in the ritual. Is that what led to the dwarves' deaths? The Muspels then left, taking the object with them. But the purpose of this ritual of theirs remains a mystery to me. That sigil, I think I glimpsed it before in Atri while I searched for Balda. Perhaps we'll find some answers there. Looks like the partial key I found fit here. Well, whoever held the ritual at the vault was once here. Searches for a Jotun and a Muspel subject to complete their work. Muspels killing Muspels. A letter from Sinvaro. There's much secrecy about the culprit's affairs. Only she and Sutra are aware. The vault is marked here. Along with a second location, another ritual site, perhaps. You're light on your feet, Asa. Following me now? You've become quite useful, Aesir. 
My gratitude for opening the vault. Now tell me, what happened there? I'm following the stink as it rises. As are you. Care to tell me why that is? Days ago, Sinmara ordered my best warriors to the vault without bothering to inform me. I've not heard from them since. Well, you're casting your suspicions at the right people. Whose quarters are these? His name is Calder, an adept in magic. Or Seder, as you Asgardians sometimes call it. This place is where he practices it. Whatever he's doing, it is not Seder. At least not as I know it. He is using something called a Salakar. It's part of a deadly ritual. And from what this room tells me, the dead will continue to pile up. Dwarves. Yotnar. Moosebells. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't. Your stepmother despises and distrusts you. Your father only the latter of those. For now. But in time, thanks to her venomous whispers, he may come to hate you as much as she does. This is a lie. All of it. Your twisted attempt to pit me against them. <laughs> Sift through the mesh yourself. No other truth lies within. Where are you going? After the Salakar. Whatever it is, your father needs it. It may be the only leverage I have to get my son back. Lord Calder, with your permission, we will now return to Asa. Soon. I have need for you still. Asus warriors, where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout, resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever half-wit stood between her and Calder. But those half-wits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. Asa! Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine. Or shall I just take it? To know fear, 
We must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asus willful Uger. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst. You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Muspel sacrifices, you needed only look inward. <laughs> Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balda, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Salakar still requires the hooker of a suitable Jotun. Colta never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this Babel share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage, but it ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people, turned them on each other, for his gain. I cannot forgive him, and to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. Which of these dwarves can help me find a suitable Jotun? Perhaps if I listen to that chatter, some fount of wisdom will reveal itself. I should return to the shelter. Perhaps the dwarves there can aid me in finding a Jotun worthy of the Salakar. With the knowledge to build. Dance with us! Came Bell and her tomorrow. husband Filmo. They both lived through. Came to humiliate us some more? Help me. And I'll compose you a saga so exalted it will endure Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svartalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Maldigger. Here because of us. 
She is worthwhile. Gave your son Vida quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vida will make me proud. But why would Malviga care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Fiala and Gala. The ones who killed Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarfs. And after, befuddled, tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutinger wasn't happy. Held us responsible. But luckily we'd acquired some mead. Some special mead. And well, Sutinger is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives. Except afterwards, some thieving twat went and stole it. Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Sutunga didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviga to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Balvigar's dangerous prey, even for you. But we can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here, sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table, you'll find a cup of great potency. Cup? You know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So... I bring you the cup, and then... We show you how to use it against Malviga. It's a deal. Camabella and her husband feel No me. one wants to hear us. They both live through great... What? Worse than a We're giant killers! Keep that down! You know we can't see the power. This wondrous cup of theirs... Should be on the table over there. Nothing. Perhaps someone has already been here and stolen it. Assuming there was a cup in the first place. To leave one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malviger is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse it will be. <sighs> Malviger is at the den to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Until next we meet. <laughs> there will be no next. You can be sure of that. We'll find Malviger at the dam west of here. She is a worthy foe. Loki told me how she and Angerboda once came to blows. It did not go well for Angerboda. The Salaka rejects Malviger. Then it is a false tool, and Sutter pins his hopes on a worthless toy. There's the dam. This tempest is unnatural. These rugged views that remind me of when I once roved the land with Freak. The cool nights spent together beneath the stars. She enjoyed the solitude as much as I. The trouble and danger even more. Then came the war with the Vanya. Taking Freya as my bride. It helped end that strife. But it ended many other things too. What trickery is this? So, the 
traitors have been. They had hoped that by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, High Lord, I would have brought an army. No, Sutengard will have his vengeance. But not here. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son, Vida, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun. You and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor is so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim, and when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans, beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alvheim. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic, and that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the hookers necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic, and that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutengard for his meat. We'll hand over a legendary relic, take your son and leave. Just like that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Put your mania aside, Havi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Baldur is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So be it. You are a greater warrior, but this is not the right result. Do what you came here to do. Get on with it, blind one. End my misery. Oh, Ymir, true old father, my body comes to you, sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hugar, do not weep for me. I do not deserve this. No, you do not. Child's innocence, my boy. I 
I pray is this after all of this. These dwarves, I need them. Though it chafes me to admit it. Be gracious, Harvey. Humble and patient. Who goes there? I am Harvey, Lord of Asgard. You. You're a long way from home. Or are the Asir now invading us as well, jailer of Ivaldi? <laughs> Ivaldi owes me his freedom. Where is he? I would speak with him. <laughs> Be my guest. I assume you know the way to Helheim. He's... he's dead. How? How else? Or do you need both eyes to see the moose spells everywhere? That was uncalled for. I... Walk with me. I am Gundborg, leader of this shelter. Or what remains of it now Ivaldi has gone. He was trying to make contact with the other shelters. There was an ambush, Glot soldiers, and something else. Something worse. A creature of fire and fury. It... It devoured Ivaldi home. No doubt Brett and Surtur's dungeons. Perhaps with Loki's aid, before I could make him my captive. You and your captives. Regardless, Uldar fell soon after Ivaldi did. Our mines and miners. Any survivors now serve Glot. Is that name meant to mean anything to me? Glot is Sutar's bastard son. Half Muspel, half Jotun. A nightmarish being. Capable of tearing a dwarf in two. Your people will have vengeance. No. The people of Uldar are finished. And yet, Glad has not simply slaughtered your people. He needs your miners. To what end? The invaders hunger for secrets buried deep in the ground. Ancient relics. The Muspels place great importance in them. And how do you know this? Enough, Javi. We have suffered enough. Now I must endure all these questions. Aid me with your knowledge, and I shall strike a blow against Glad and all Muspels. <sighs> in Uldor we had someone gathering information for us. The miner, Frithjolver. He's been silent for days now, which is unlike him. Probably dead for all I know. Anything sought by the Muspels must be mine. Where was Frithjofer last seen? Perhaps I can find him. There is a house in Uldar, its owners killed by Muspels long ago. There we would exchange messages with him. This house? How do I find it? It's the tallest house in the Jewelers District, by the city's south gate. Just look for the gold in the streets. You'll see. Frithjofer may be the key to obtaining these relics Suther seeks. I must find him. Do as you must, Lord of Asgard. I have too many burdens of my own to worry about yours as well. No, you cannot be Frithjofer. But you know of him. Then, are you Tira? Tira? Yeah. Tira! God we must, and I'm in the Tere! Fridjover! Do you even know where he is? Fridjover! Yeah! Fridjover! Tere! Wait, wait. Do you understand me? We do not know any Marwas or Ross anymore. Is this where they dig for relics? Shh! Fridjover! Yeah? You think Fridjover is here? Time to find out. Wait here. Tira? Oh, thank the stars you're safe. I'm all right, I'm all right. You know, all things considered. This one got you out, too. Enough prattle. Where is the relic? Not one for small talk, are you? Isn't that everything a dwarf says? Ha ha ha! Not bad. Just uh, keep your breeches on, yeah? That relic I found? The moose boats have it. Took it to the palace, I'd be, yeah. What is it? 
damned if I know. Moment I yanked it free from the ground, there was a blast of bright white light, and that was the last thing I saw. That's not what I asked. What does it do? Other than blind, unsuspecting dwarves? Dunno. Moosebulls didn't seem sure either. Hence taking it to that bastard scholar up in the palace. This palace? A Moosebell stronghold, I take it. You're a sharp one. Evaldi was commissioned there, long ago. Einar's there now. Piece of shit. He's the one who'll have your relic. Einar? Bitte sona, Einar. He's... He's a traitor. A dwarf working for the Moosebells. So don't you believe a word he tells you. You get a chance, you kill him. I shall judge who lives and dies. Where is this palace? If we're still by the dig site, you can probably see it. To the south. Modest little place, sitting atop a great bloody rock. Modest little place indeed. Very well. I shall take this relic for myself. What will you do now? What's it to you, whatever your name is? If I find you have lied to the Lord of Asgard, I will want words with you. You? Your? Oh, oh my days. Well, look. I, I got nothing to hide. We'll make for the shelter. Go see Gunborg. Very well. If you're true to your word, then we shan't need cross paths again. You have failed me for the last time. You don't understand! Now it lies dormant. Useless. The only means to awaken it. I've searched everywhere, but, but if all these records are a mess, rest assured I will... The purpose of the... the only purpose it has served is drawing out vermin! Tell me, where did the son of Sutra take that relic? I don't... I can't! Just... Look! Who are you? I am Harvey of Asgard. I hold your fate in my hands. Answer me before the room is swarmed and I leave you to the Moosebells. No, no! I can help you! You saw through the portal, clawed open, yes? You saw the vault? I can get you inside. I can! I am listening. Best you are swift. The vault, it's sealed with an ancient magic, but I can get you inside. You can help me get the relic? Yes, yes, but that is not the prize. It is what happens within the vault that can truly shape our fates. They will be upon us soon. Can you walk? Listen to me, we can't stay here. I need answers now, traitor. Do not call me that. I had my reasons. Not that you'd understand such an abstract concept as reason, you mad, spiteful, half-blind! Choose your next words carefully. <sighs> they may be your last. They have my boy. The Moose Pels. I only did what I did to save him, you see. You save him, I'll do anything you ask. I'll... I'll damn well walk you into Glod's vault myself. Stop! My... My boy. Oh, my boy. What have they done to you? Get off me. She wanted your life spared, not me. You backstabbing stuck of shit. Silence. Balder would never dare speak to me in such a way. You've lost your eyes. You want to lose your tongue as well? Three dwarfs is three more than I planned on rescuing. Can any of you fight? No, of course not. So, I must find other uses for you. You owe me. We have much to discuss. 
But we need to get this one into the Vault of the Ancients. Are you... Do you have any idea what you're saying? To do that, you'd need... A sunstone, yes. And very precisely augmented. Lad, if this is what it takes to drive out the Moose Pals... Uh, then it must be done. All right. There is a sunstone that watches over Onorthorpe. Bring it to me, at Vergamir Milna, and I shall forge that which we need. Must I do everything? <sighs> Very well. I was starting to worry you may have met with resistance. Those who resist me are not long for this world. Indeed. And we are not short of foes in this area, so I'd be glad for your company. Come, my workshop is close. Here, Aina, your sunstone. This is where you worked before the Moosepels invaded. One sight of many, indeed. When the Moosepels took Uldar, captured Fritjofr, and my niece. Tira. Yes. I returned to the city, worked with the sons of Ivaldi, but to no avail. So I allowed myself to be captured. The guards oh, here are vigilant. To rescue your son. There's more to you than meets the eye, Master. Here. As you can see, it's been some time since I was last here. Now, if I may ask, what does the High One of Asgard seek in Svartalfheim? My motive is not so different to your own. A son to rescue. To do so, I believe I need the relic. Though to what end remains a mystery. I see. So you're not here to save dwarf kind. If butchering muspels in my path aids your course, then I will not deny you my gifts. You are most generous. It has been said, yes. Damn it all to Helheim! What? What is it? Javi, forgive me. What? Do you fail me, Aina? The Sunstone must endure incredible heat for me to render it into a new form. My instruments are no longer capable. I'm sorry. Give it to me. I have the means to endure any heat. Of course. When the process is complete, the Sunstone will shine brightly. Bring it to me then, and I shall finish what you have begun. Big words from one so small. It will be done. How did you... Uh, I know better than to ask. Do you have what you need now? Yes, I believe so. Let me see. Ah! Still hot. Will this work? Aina. Sorry, uh, sorry. I just... I've only ever read about this in the ancient scriptures. I've never seen it with my own eyes. Finally, you made it. Careful. That sounded like you doubted me for a moment. What of your eyes? Are they mended? Getting there. Recovering. Thank the gods. You're welcome. Now then, show me what to do with this augmented sunstone. Enad? Alive, last I saw, but old and slow. We must begin without him. The Vault of the Ancients. <sighs> Bloody and Couldn't have said it better myself. What is wrong? Why isn't it opening? Is there something wrong with the mechanism? Yeah, uh, about that. I'd feel a lot more confident if my father was... Help! Get to work. I'll stretch my fighting arm. Ah. It is done.
took you long enough. By Ymir's armpits, what are you doing here, you one-eyed shitbag? Seeking a relic. It's somehow grown more wrinkly and ill-tempered since I last saw it. Fuck off. <laughs> Looking for this, I'd wager. The mighty relic! Piece of junk. I took out all the good stuff already. What? What? Then we shall take our leave. The quickest way out is through the front. You look like you've been to Helheim and back. Claude may be a mongrel bastard, but he knows how to torture a dwarf, that's for sure. Stealing again. How unbecoming. And with his little friends. My stepson takes his mongrel eyes off you for one second. And look at this mess. To think his father expects him to rule Muspelheim one day. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She's one of the bad ones. She's, She's the... nothing. But she has the reek's blood on her hands and must pay. Find another way out. Uh, the way we got in! Quick! Get to the shelter. I'll see to her. Promises, promises. <sighs> of all the faces I left behind in Asgard, yours is the last I expected to see. You sound disappointed. I'd have preferred you sent a buxom Valkyrie. Wearing nothing more than a mischievous smile. And carrying a barrel of the good stuff. Now you're talking, but when I saw you in the palace, through Glod's portal, well, I knew you'd come for me. Thank you. Anything for a friend. My gentle jailer rescuing me from a far worse jail. It's almost poetic. You dwarves never did understand poetry. The sky is high, wood is good, and Harvey is still an arsehole. How is that for poetry, you miserable shit? About as good as you smell. Now, I have a use for you. Harvey has a use for me. Words to chill the blood. Still, you know we dwarves give nothing away for free. Do you breathe fresh air, or the stench of Glad's torturous? Keep your eye in its socket. What will you have me do? Wait. What? Vermin. Thief. Face me. Be warned. I will finish what you start. Son, now I have killed his. A small step towards justice. Wish you had let me get a few kicks in. Bastard almost ate me once. Then it is over? The Muspas will be in disarray. Not while Surtur is in power. Tell me more of the relics and what you did with them. What happened in the vault? What do you think? Glod tortured me. Commanded me to revive the relics, then extract their magic so that Surtur might use it in some way. And you could not? How fucking dare you? Of course I could. But not for shit like him. Of course, Glod was too dim to see that I was dispelling the magic rather than storing it. And as soon as I knew you were coming, I gutted the relics, rendered them useless. So no mighty weapon for that prick Surtur. 
It is unwise to underestimate such an enemy. But you were short-sighted, Ivaldi. I could have made good use of that magic. Well, if it's items of power you seek. During my imprisonment, I heard rumors. Surtur is building something. Something small, yet very, very potent. And highly valuable to him. So valuable that if it were to fall into your hands, you might do some real damage here, I think. That is intriguing. I will seek out wisdom on the subject, more ancient and advanced than even my own. But first I must equip myself with some decent tools. Starting with a hammer and maybe a chisel or two. There is a dam in the north of Valengrin. Huge bloody thing. Almost completely frozen over. I... I know of it. South of the dam, there is a workshop. Perhaps it remains in good order. When your travels are complete, you will find me there. I will come when I'm ready. This is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if it's already here. The entrance must be on the other side. Shorty. Very shorty. Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the Sarkis of your people, yet I've never heard. I never of... said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light, or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. The war with the Vani had only just ended and I was... ...wary. Long after, I learned how Sutter devoured the Elves in mortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Svalfelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide, but I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. 
I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. So this is where they hide. This must be the Shanta Evil they spoke of. I should head inside. Mars armor. He wore it when his sons turned against him. Dwarfs believe it to be cursed. I don't think they'll mind if I relieve them of this malediction. Were you followed? A word, my friend. Evil D requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Augler. He's the master of this workshop? Master? <laughs> nah, but he's chief when the masters ain't here. Strange. What do you want? Evil, he sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Brooker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Anyway. Look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... by Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. Look around you, Aesir. All the treasure a heart could want, but not a scrap of food for the belly. What good is a thing if it makes no one happy? All that counts are people in the end. What was this place before it became your sanctuary? A treasury. When the invasion began, they sent warriors to guard it. Our leaders would rather protect their wealth than our lives. And we followed, seeking protection. And so we are here, all the wealth we could wish for yet hungry and miserable still. Keep well. true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel! A big one! An ogre could tear me limb from limb and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Sutungu's so special mead? What's that frosty ass guy do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can. Uh, it can, uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethor, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. 
And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ewaldi with a job that he's done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue, using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong, and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish. But alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoose. That is where I should go next. Dwarven hookers, even ones such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Kaldur sated the Salakar with the hookers of so many races. Musvel, a Jotun dwarf. Who knows what else? Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri, beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... He always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. Oh, but then... One... Cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead, right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I'll cut down that oak tree, now Sindri's gone. Can't stand the sight of it without him here. Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri. To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Broker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I'd be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. The disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God! You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. 
Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage, that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you. Sindri's greatest rival would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering. Brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still... We can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it. The dwarves have saved the place for me. This is a great honor that they bestow. My brother, a true master, he was, uh, I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Brocker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that meat. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. 
You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svatalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know, even in my grief. So, don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that. I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, all right? A little old think. I forged better in my sleep. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Hey, sir. You return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofrsmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to A- Oh! You're back. Sinmara's plans lie in ruins. I just hope you know what you're doing. Surely I should be asking that of you. Now, tell me, what does it do? I ain't got a clue. These light elves and their sneaky. You've learned nothing? Whatever its use, the power it contains. It holds more than what you said. Such as? Well, for a start, there's a bloody dwarf in there. Anyone we know? Nah, and it's not important. Dwarf hoogers don't carry much weight. Not even mine. So, what does it contain? All I know is that it's more than Malviger, Kaldar, and some dwarf no one cares about. Fine. 
In the stories, what was the actual point of the Salakars? Hugers were what vitalized them. But it was the magic that gave them their purpose. And that magic was different to each one. Magic? You mean Seda? Nah, some elf shit no one knows anymore. Except Sutra. That fire nymph? She sent word. And? Your plan worked. Shinmara's ready to barter, if it means getting you out of the way. Where? At the bridge leading to Feigarda. Light the beacon, and she'll come out with your lad. The power that the Salakar holds. It must not fall into Surtur's grasp. Uh, I'll reclaim it once Balder is safe. Me. I've got a bad feeling about this. For once, we're in agreement. You should I know. Retaking the Salaka won't be easy. I may have to release Loki and ask for his aid. His talent for theft is unmatched. What I have done to him, and him to me. Once I have rescued Balder, we will be even. Loki will see that. I must announce my arrival. Go, my eyes. You bring that which is Sutter's. Give me what is mine. And I will hand over what is his. Come midway. The High One brought low. Mistletoe, symbol of hope, renewal, but not for Balder. We forced so many drafts down his gullet. His torment was quite beautiful. Blind fool, you never saw what was in front of you. Here is your child. His light gone before you even set foot here. And the rest of him? It now skulks in Helheim.
Allow me to reunite you with your boy. No! <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> you were never worth my effort. I've seen dwarves with better stature. <laughs> Take care of it. Asgard. But you are an imposter. Heart as black as tar. Savage. Monstrous. You've locked that truth away. Built a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound. Poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be Odin the Deceiver. Come me. If you're going to fight, fight!
What is it? What did you see? All my struggles mattered nothing in the end. My son was lost before I began. His premonition come to pass. Your son? Balder! Harvey's son! You know what I mean. So Balder met his fate, as was foretold. Ever you have sought to elude the looms of the Nornir, but we are all caught in their weave. No, I will not believe it. There's more to see yet. Why was I thrown from my dream? Perhaps it was not the vision that rejected you, but you who rejected the vision. Perhaps you are afraid of it. I fear nothing. I think you do. And until you recognize that fear, give in to it, embrace it, the vision will not return. Some walls cannot be overcome by potions alone. Tell me what I must do. This saga does not end here. It cannot. Meet me in the forest when darkness lays upon the land. There we shall see how fearless you truly are. These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svartalfheim hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. Tova, how have you been? The fire made me think of the myths and legends Sven loved. Would you indulge me with a tale? I would be glad to hear of Svartalfheim. I would not tell it half as well, but his favorite was a fable to remind us to find meaning in our deeds and not in how others think of us. Svartalfheim was not short of legendary dwarven blacksmiths. Everyone has heard of Ivaldil, Brokkr, and Sindri. But this tale is of a stonemason. He lived as far south as he could, where Gulnamar meets Vanquin. His workshop sat upon the shoreline. Obsessed with glory, his love of masonry had all but died. He scoured the shore. Seeking precious stones washed up from other realms. Then he saw it. Something beautiful, glittering, shimmering across the water. Upon an island he had never dared travel to. He hastily built a boat working long into the night. He set sail and found many rocks that sparkled and dazzled upon the island. He cried out in joy. To craft anything from such stones, he would be remembered for all time. Then he felt a sudden sting on his foot. Then another, and another. His eyes adjusted to the dark. So consumed was he by his desire for renown, 
he failed to realize he had walked into a nest of snakes until it was already too late. And so, clutching the stone that sealed his fate, there he died. Remember, yes, but only for his folly. A fine tale, Toki, and well told. This man would be proud. Have you been spending too much time drinking Vulgar's special sauces again? I am troubled by visions of Odin and of Svatsalfheim. They flood my mind without warning, without invitation. Aha! Which is how Thor flooded Svartalfheim. Thor, fast to act, but not so fast to think, would stomp and thump. Fight and bump everywhere he and Mjolnir should go. One day, he fought a giant in Jotunheim with such ferocity that Thor's killing blow was felt through all nine realms. The ground shook, mountains rose up, hills tore apart, creating canyons, and north of Svaladal, the massive lake that housed the springs of Yggdrasil. Split open, flooding all of Svartalfheim. The dwarf king, Kraithmar, acted swiftly. He built three mighty dams, preventing further damage to his realm, working alongside his beloved subjects. So surprised was one builder to see the great king working as an equal that he slipped, tumbling into the raging waters below. Without hesitation, Raithmar leapt, once from his horse, and again from the center of the dam's lip, diving into the frightful torrent. Before the Builder could even cry for help, Raithmar was pulling him onto dry land. And so two giant statues were built to honor the king, one for each leap of unthinking bravery, and stood until the end of days. Until Ragnarok. Aye, so you see, actions ripple outward, like a stone falling into a lake, or like Thor crushing a Jotun skull with Mjolnir. Affecting everything, whether foretold or unknown. I fear my tale has only worsened your concerns. Hmm? No, a good story is a lark that feeds a mind's flame. Thank you. I will tie your hands now. What purpose will that serve? You are too much the warrior, Eivor. You will not recognize your fear until you are helpless before it. Drink. You say this will bring the vision back. Is that all? You, you mean to leave me here? Balka! This is... Why must I be tied? Yeah. <laughs> 
me! The wolf is coming and I... I cannot reach my weapons! Alka! Alka! So many. Where did they come from? I have to break these bones. The more I struggle, the tighter the bones become. There must be a trick to this. What did Valka say? Give in to it. Be still. It's working. The bonds are loosening. Three. Now for the reckoning. Curse you! gone for now I'm ready Valka it is time Sabbats of fame, even after all these eternities away, I still hate the place. Yet it offers me the hope of revenge, sweetest of morsels. The realm is changed, but this is not Sutra's doing, it is something more. I must find Broker and Ivaldi. They'd better still have my Salaka nice and safe. What? Has the shelter fallen? These Muspels are a plague. Bobby, you are back. Yes, yes. One moment while I clear. Salakar, have you lost it? Broker left the shelter yesterday before the raid even happened. Took the Salakar with him. Where has he taken it? Since you went away, he has become erratic. The Salakar, it, it's all that matters to him now. You should learn from his example. Now where is he? Where? The other night, he spoke of exploring the crater of Atri to seek out more answers. He takes the Salaka to Sutra's front door. Wait! Where have you been these past few days? Days? No matter. It is where I go that matters. And where is that? Atri? Wherever I can find vengeance. Calm yourself, Harvey. Collect your wits. An eye for an eye will leave us all blind. What do I care of eyes? We must find Broker in Atri's crater. The brave fool means well, but risks cheating me of my vengeance. What is it with these two brothers? 
One died sneaking after Mead. The other now risks death by taking his jump too far. my Salakar. Take it easy, it's right here, nice and safe. Wanted to investigate something, but then I tripped and... Can you walk? No. Oh, then I shall carry you. Oh, gentle! Ah, I hate a bleeding sack of spuds, you know. What have you learned of the Salakar? Might just know how to use it. Of course, you're going after Surtur. You'll most likely end up feasting in Valhalla. Valhalla? It is for the feeble and the blundering. No, I shall not die. Worlds may end, but I, Harvey, shall abide. What about Sindri? You calling him feeble? What would he be doing in... Ah, yes. Yes. He is there in Valhalla, of course. For one such as he, it is a great honor. Now then... This looks like a good place to put you down. So, tell me the Salakar's purpose. Mm. Having a clue? Can it kill Sutra? Well, that ain't its purpose. But yeah, I think it can. How? It harnesses the light. A lot of light. That was Baldur's gift. To turn day to night and back. Is that why Sutra stole his Huga? Yeah. The others, they're just for balance. But, see, there is one more in there. Like Baldur's. Incomplete. Who is this, this Huga? Sjordthurus. An itsy-bitsy snippet, mind you. Uh, I don't understand. I think... I think if the Salakar touches Surtur, the two will come together. The Salakar is already complete. Nothing gets in or out. A torn Huga will always try to reunite itself. His might just be strong enough to do it. If that happens, he will become the Salakar. Then nothing can stop him. Only if he can control all that light. But I don't think he can. His old carcass ain't made for it. It'll be like trying to hold the ocean in a single hog's bladder. This thinking. How can I be sure you're right? You ain't heard all me workings out. Do you truly believe the coming together will be too much for Sutra? Uh, best try it when he's weak. Ideally dead. Uh, not dead dead, of course, just normal dead. Before he wakes up all over again. You've done well. Now give me the Salakar and leave this place. It is too dangerous. I ain't leaving. I come this far. Do as you're told, friend. to draw attention here. Balder, you will be avenged. That... that is my pledge. No one... no one shall dare strike down the seed of Odin and live to tell the tale. Twilight comes. Still drawing breath? I have a cure for that.
Hand. This is no place for dwarves. I've earned my right to see this through. I told you it would work, and there you are, doubting me. On the other hand, have a key. <clears throat> you want the rest? Come, claim it. <clears throat> you really shouldn't have come here. You come and claim it. from the fire! I am the fire! So much for your grand plan, you fool. You sought to harness the power of the light. The power of my son! Could have turned you into the wrecker of worlds. But in this feeble state, his light will devour you whole!
Smell that? The breath of liberty. My gift to you. Why the sour faces? Would you rather remain fugitives? Hurricane. So the whispers were true. You were here in Svatelfheim all alone. You have been busy, High One. Your vengeance floods the entire land like a raging river that has burst its banks. Why are you here? I too bring a gift. Dread rumors from Asgard. Rumors you would have heard had you not been so... preoc... What has Loki done now? Escaped the cell in which you left him to rot. Unbound Fenrir. Awoken Jormungandr. Rallied Hell. Now raising an army like no other. Clearly, he has been busy too. Of course, Loki is not your only problem. Soon, the gates of Muspelheimer will grind open, and its minions will emerge, demanding retribution for their fallen king. And let us not forget Sutungur in your name. Do you really think he will miss this chance to settle old scores? Your vengeance comes at a price, High One, and you and everything you hold dear are it. So there is to be a fight. I haven't lost one yet. You have heard of the Twilight Sword? Surtur's Blade? Destined to cut the sky and signal Ragnarok. I stuffed it down his gullet. <laughs> As I came here, a great beam of light rose from that lone tower, tore the sky asunder. Your doing, I assume? It is you who ignites Ragnarok. So it begins. By my own hand. Hurricane. A favor, please. Have I not already done you one? Not for me. For you. Go to that tower you spoke of. Within you will find an elven marble lying amid the ashes. Take it. Why? It offers a way to deliver the one you have lost, yet seek to save. But first it must be emptied of those lost souls within. I already have a plan to rescue my love. There's always a better one. Now go. What is this trick? You don't care about her lost love. I care about Balda. If she can free him, even unintentionally, he may yet make it to the other side of Ragnarok. But Ragnarok comes, and yet I will abide, though not as I am, and not in this body. I will not forget this life, not one breath. I will always remember when Odin, son of Bor, Father of Thor, wash me!